now finally it's time to have the progress detail of all the jobs we are having so for that we need the job batching it's new with the level 8 so it's going to be fun here we have the job batching and uh, first we need a table to store the batch of the jobs or job batching details so run this command here we are then we need to migrate simply so that it will have the table and it's migrated and this means in our database we have a new table called jobs underscore batches next what we need to do we need to just define the batchable jobs so batchable jobs means a simple job with a batchable trait so what we have to do we just need to convert this job into a batchable job by just adding a new trait called batchable amazingly simple just by adding that we are now able to use this job into the batch of the job next what we have to do we just have to dispatch the batch so before dispatching the batch we need to create the batch so how we can create a batch it's super easy once again buzz colon colon batch inside the batch in an array we have to define all our jobs and finally we can say dispatch cool how we can do that here we have the chunks and before looping through the chunks i'm going to create a batch it's going to be the empty batch so i say buzz and batch so here we have this is an empty batch as i told you but here we also have to dispatch it so you will say before adding anything we are dispatching yes we are dispatching the batch but whenever we are looping through the chunks instead of directly dispatching this uh, job we have now we will say batch and add adding this thing so i need to say actually new this uh, sales csv process and passing the data we have to provide here like this and that's good that's it actually and finally i'm going to return the batch so that we will have some information related to batch only so now we have this thing we have created an empty batch we have already dispatched it for every loop of the chunk we are adding this job into the batch and since the batch is already dispatched it's going to handle from this queue worker we have already running but before i just remember that i need to remove this if key is equal to to remove the header so that uh, no process or no job will get failed now what i'm going to do one more time let's choose a 50k record click on upload and this time it's going to return the job detail you can see initially it was not having any job detail like pending total job anything but if you see it's processing it's doing its job <laughs> yes job is working but the cool part is for this job id we are having the information of this job batching okay so what i'm going to do one more time i'm going to create another route this is going to be a get route and inside this get route i say batch and then i just go to the one more time sales controller and this time i say into the batch uh, function i'm going to create so just at the bottom i say create a function called batch and here i'm going to get the batch id from request and id this is going to be the thing and then if you go to the documentation it says uh, inspecting the batch we just need to grab the batch from the buzz so it's very easy buzz find batch with a batch id so we just need to say buzz find batch with a batch id which we already have okay so we just need to return it now 
we are having this and we are going to pass as a query parameter so let's open the localhost 8000 and slash batch question mark id is going to be the id here we have and let's paste it hit enter and you can see it's now getting 51 job pending is 17 process 34 which is in processing and progress is 67 so once more refresh 73 progress 75 progress 76 and every second if you refresh you will get the real progress how many job are pending how many processed total jobs and once it get finished it will have the finished at obviously if we have any error we will get the cancelled at and created at so you can get the difference from this finished and created to calculate the total amount of time it has taken so process is 94 96 and very quickly it's going to become 100 and then we will get the finished at timestamp and which we are already having so you can see it start with a 44 and ends with a 47 like 44 5 6 7 3 almost three or two and a half minute it took to upload all the 50k records this means i'm going to take advantage of this thing and this time i'm going to upload 1 million record as i have promised this is a video for uploading 1 million record click on upload and here we have it's going to initially take the process take the time because it's going to upload the file first and then reading so even reading the file of 1 million record take time once we have done that we will get the id of the batch and that we will going to inspect it here okay so we got the batch id copy this batch id from here and then get the detail of this one so it has total 1001 job among 10 are processed and it has started at 47.53 let's now wait and see when it's going to finish okay so now no job is left here you can see jobs table is empty in the sales table we have 1,037,000 uh, records and now let's refresh this and i'm going to refresh and you can see it has processed total of 1001 record every record or every job actually processed successfully and you can see it's finished at uh, 6 47 started and 7 30 almost uh, 50 or 40 minute 40 minute it took in my system obviously my system was a little slow so it took a longer time but it has literally processed millions of record and processed and also stored into the database oh my god so this is really amazing and this is the thing we have successfully done with the help of uh, laravel q job batching system amazing 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 big thanks to taylor and to whole laravel team